Once again, it's that time of year. And I'm not talking about reindeers or snowmen, I'm talking about tamales. Whether you're making them or eating them, you're loving them. Today, I'm in downtown Fresno checking out Casa del Tamales to see how they roll. I'm Jason Ferris, owner of Fres Yes Realty, and I've lived in Fresno all my life. Join me as I visit some of the best food spots 559 has to offer. This is Fresno Flavor. Casa de Tamales brings old school Mexican flavor into a new school context with unique ingredients you won't find anywhere else. They've built upon their following to expand to two brick and mortar locations. And they also hit the streets with their tamales for special events and their regular stops like the weekly cart hop food gathering downtown. Today I'm meeting with the owner, Liz, at their downtown location on Fulton Street. Thank you so much for having us today. I really appreciate it. Well, thank you for coming by. Anytime so, I can uh, share anything with you is uh, fantastic. So tell me a little bit about how you got started. Well, my mom and my grandmother. My <laughs> mom and my grandmother. Uh, absolutely, it comes back to them. Uh, you know, my grandmother, she's uh, 85 and she's still with us. She comes and you know checks out the offer. Does she making sure you're staying on point? Yeah, she does. She'll, she'll give you the thumbs up like, okay, I'm doing all right. So the traditional tamale, tell me about that. I saw there was a niche for recreating what I would call a very traditional and classic tamale. I stayed true to the masa and uh, fresh milled corn. And I put spins on it like I make a really nice um, cilantro jalapeno masa, a red chili masa. <laughs> me launching my business, I wanted to go from scratch, just like my grandmother. So, Love that. So what am I having the pleasure of eating today? Today we're gonna to have you try a variety of food. We've got a really nice- A variety? A variety. Really nice pork tamal, and then also a um, carnitas taco, so you can try our tortillas as well. Wow, all right, let's do it. All right. Time to hop back in the kitchen with Liz as she prepares some of her signature tamales and see firsthand how Casa de Tamales rolls their awesome, authentic Mexican treats. Part of uh, you know making and assembling a good tamale is making sure you know you can pre-cut your corn husks ahead of time. Soak them in water, dry them so they're damp and pliable. There's no lard or shortening in our masa. Uh, a little bit of salt, a tiny bit of baking powder, and I do use a very small amount of a secret ingredient. We add the masa approximately about two, two and a half ounces of masa. I use a masa spreader. This is what we all use and my tamale makers use, so. Do you guys keep track of like who keeps, who does the most? TPH, what's that? Tamales per hour. Tamales per hour, I love well, it. So who has the record? Uh, that would be Concepcion, so shout out to her. Exactly. She does about 250 per hour. Oh my, 250, 250 per hour. That's amazing. I know. <laughs> equal amount of masa, the filling also equal amount. All of the proteins that I use are stewed with a little bit of garlic, onions as well, and then the sauces that we use. We make a red chili sauce from New Mexico chilies. It's a dry chili. We de-seed them, puree them with some tomatoes and onions to make a really authentic red sauce. And then of course, the proper sealing of the tamale. I like to double wrap, so a second corn husk. When you do this, then you can cook them standing up, you can cook them laying down. In our high temperature steamers, we'll put about 300 tamales to cook per per batch, and that is about 45 minutes. Once the corn masa starts to peel off the corn husk, then your tamale is ready to go. This is first of all, like they say, the expression you eat with your eyes first, looks amazing, delicious. So this is a classic pork with the red sauce. We cook our pork with a little bit of fat on it so that it gives it flavor, and then we go through and hand shred it. Gosh, it is perfectly proportioned. Like, I mean, I've got a great amount of meat there. This isn't like a little meat. Like, I got a good portion of meat. Excellent, excellent. Great. And then our fresh carnitas gets marinated for at least six to eight hours before we begin the uh, slow roasting, deep fried peat part of it. Mm. And some fresh guacamole. It is juicy, 
It is tender. That meat, I, mean, I love that guacamole. Mm -hmm. Liz, can you just make this special for me? Is this what everyone gets? This is what everyone gets. Because everyone's special. Right? <laughs> At Casa de Tamales, everybody's special, including this taco. I'm going to have a second bite. Okay. Casa de Tamales brings Fresno's lunch and outdoor dining scene tasty tamales year round. I'm thankful they've allowed us to share their tasty tradition with you. You're gonna wanna try Casa de Tamales. You're gonna wanna try every one of these and more, I guarantee it. Please check out their website at casadetamales.com and then also on Facebook, Facebook slash Casa de Tamales. That's right. Wonderful. For more stories about the people, the places, the lifestyle, the homes, and the delicious food that our valley continues to put out, check out fresyes.com.